This movie is about the restoration of wetlands in Western Ethiopia. Because of deforestation and inappropriate soil conservation measures, the wetlands have virtually disappeared and have become dry areas where the kids play football on and and uh, the grazing and everything else which used to be very good there have now disappeared. Sometimes they're converted into agricultural land but the still the wetland no longer exists. This is what we would like to turn them into a, uh, a real wetland and this came about because of the use of the vetiver system. Here on the uplands above the wetland vetiver has been planted in hedgerows as a result, there's been an increase in crop yields, very significant by as much as 30%, and runoff has been reduced by as much as 70%. With the result, this recharges the groundwater. In this image, you can see how the vetiver hedgerows have been placed. They're not always very good, but they seem to be effective. That's the main thing. Here's another bunch of hedgerows on the average contour doing the job in stopping runoff. Down here you can see the wetlands in the middle distance and above it is agricultural land. The hedges aren't very good here because it appears they've either been dug up for selling to other farmers or they have not been planted at the correct distance. This will be corrected in this coming season as more farmers are realizing that if they want to get the best effect from using the bed of a system, they must plant it correctly. That is, on the contour, with a spacing of about 10 centimeters between plants. During the first year, they have to keep their livestock off uh, and provide some protection to the young plants. If this is done, we get hedgerows like this. They're very effective, and uh, as a result, Groundwater is recharged from the water that infiltrates through the root system of the vetiver uh, grass hedge. Here we see the wetland that has been created a few years ago. They played football over here and there was very little grazing. The area was very dry but now you can see that small lakes are developing and as the watershed becomes more completely uh, set out with vetiver hedgerows, this water level will increase in this wetland. Already birds and other animals are using the wetland. We see ducks and geese and other migratory birds here. It's really a wonderful sight to see. In summary, the vetiver hedges have reduced runoff down the slope of the uplands by as much as 70 percent. This rain rainfall has now been moved down the soil profile into the groundwater and slowly discharges during the whole year into the wetland that is now totally restored with reeds and birds and good fodder for livestock. This truly is impressive and is a result of the Vetiva system. Finally, I want to um, remind you how the Vetiva system recharges groundwater. This is very important because many people don't understand it. Here is the linear section through a Vetiva hedge. It shows the root system which acts as a subsurface barrier and the runoff hits the hedgerow and then uh, stays there a little while and then seeps down through the root system and into the groundwater. Often the roots will penetrate weathering rock and other hard material. Because of the system of cultivation in Africa, in many instances hard pans frequently develop these hard pans prevent water from moving down the soil profile into the groundwater. In this case, you can see how vetiver roots have 
temporarily stopped at a hard pan and then moved on down through the hard pan. These hard pans are thus cracked open and, ground, and water is able to seep down to the groundwater.